Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about the new collaboration features of DNN 6.2. Now, DNN 6.2 is not released yet. They have just um, released the second version of the CTP, the Community uh, Technology Preview uh, version. So this is not for production. This is still an alpha version. But I decided to download it and have a look at the new features that they are talking about, that DNN Corp is talking about. And here from Codeplex, if we just scroll a little bit down, I will post this link as well. Scroll a little bit down, you're going to see some of the new collaboration tools that will come with DNN 6.2, like the journal module, the new user file manager, the member directory, the messaging, the social groups, and some other... Uh, minor features here. But today we're going to be talking about, about the journal module, the member directory, and the messaging. So those are the three ones that we're going to be talking about today. And most likely I'm going to spread this over a few, um, a few videos. But so let's get started here. I have installed that version, DNN 6.2, in my local system. I'm already logged in here to the backend as super user. And I would like to create a, a new page called the stream. This it, to demonstrate the journal module. So let's just create just a regular page here. I'm going to to give access to all users on their port details. I'm going to call this stream, and I'm going to place it after the user profile page. I'm going to add page and in the menu we should have actually I may have placed in a different place let me just check here I want this to be under the main menu so let's update and we have and now we have a stream page here so let's just delete this text module and let's add the the journal module. So let's go to all categories and in the module drop down, let's look for the journal. Let's add this to the page. And here is the journal module. Now, what is, what is it that we can do with this module? Now, the idea of this module is very simple. You can post messages, you can post information and it will behave like what you may have seen on, on Facebook. The, the stream of, of message, the stream of information, or even Google+, Plus, the, the, the stream that keeps coming. So the information that you post here, uh, it will stay in the, in the website and you have the option. Actually, let's do a test here. This is a test. We have the option to post this to everyone. So regardless if you are logged in or not, you're going to see that for community members only. For friends or private? Private will keep just for yourself, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just share this to everyone. And now it shows, because I'm logged in as super user, it shows a super user account. This is the message that I that I posted. There's the, 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 the famous like, and there's also a comment button. Now, I'm just going to open another browser and not log in. So I'm just going to refresh this here in another browser, so I'm not logged in, but now I can see the stream page. I'm gonna access the stream, and I can see that super user account has posted something, uh, has posted this is a test. <clears throat> now, I cannot, I cannot like it, I cannot comment, because I'm not part of the website. I'm not logged in, I'm just a regular user just browsing the website. Now, I'm gonna open a third website, a third browser, where I'm going to log in and I have already created the user. So I'm just going to log in as that user, which is myself. I'm going to log in. Now I can see the stream. I am logged in. When I go to the stream, I can see the message uh, that was posted by the super user account. Um, not sure why it's posting three hours ago, but again, just keep in mind that this is uh, Technology preview version, so it's an alpha version. This is still being worked on, and I, I'm sure that those 
small little glitches that may happen while we are talking about it, they will be dealt with. So at this point, I'm logged in in another browser as another user, and I have the option to like and to comment. So I can just click on comment and I can leave. This is my comment. So hit comment. You can see it here. Now, on my profile here, I have posted my photos. That's the reason why it's showing my my um, headshot here. And again, if that if users in general, if they have headshots, they will they will show up here. So this is my comment. If I go back there to uh, logged in as as super user, I can see that someone posted a comment. Now I will also hit like logged in as adder. So I'm going to click like. So I like the comments. If I go back here, I refresh the page. Now it also shows that Ederson likes this. Again, very Facebook like, very, you know, Google Plus and those social um, tools out there. Now, what else can we do here? Well, we can actually post messages, including photos, include, including files as well. So let's give it a try. Let's say that I want to post another message. This is my picture. And I'm going to, I can either browse the site. If I already have images on the site, I could, I could browse the site and, and see my area of my files, my images, or I can upload from my own computer. So I'm going to hit there. I have a image here. It's uploading automatically, has a nice thumbnail. So, I mean, looks quite neat, looks, looks quite nice. I'm going to share this, but this time I'm going to share this only with community members. So let's just select this one and hit share. Now, again, I'm doing that as super user. I'm going to open the browser where I am not logged in. So I'm just going to refresh this. As you can see, this is the previous message. I cannot see that mes message that has a photo on it because I said that only community members would be able to see that. Now, if I go to the browser where I'm logged in as Ederson, if I refresh this, now I can see because I'm logged in, I'm part of the community and I can see the picture posted by super user account. Now, if I go back to the browser where I'm logged in as super user, and if I want to, let's say, post something else, post another photo. Now I have the option, as I said before, to browse from sites. Now I just uploaded this picture and now it's part of my files within my my uh, my journal. So if I click browse site from site, I can see the smiley face right here. So again, as I as this progress and I keep adding more and more files, they will show up under my files here. This feature is what they have called here user file manager, which are files that belong to each each user, each separate user. Now I'm assuming that uh, we can also post other types of files. So let's see this attachment icon. Let's see if I want to upload from my computer. I just have a text file here that I want to upload. It's uploading and well, it's right here. So this is a text file. Now, again, if I go here, I have the option to uh, share with friends only and we get uh, in a second, we get to see how we're going to be able to create friends or I can make it private. So if I make this private, I'm assuming that only myself will be able to, to see that. Let's have a look here. If I flip to the other browser, if I refresh, I won't be able to see that file that I have just shared. So because it's private. This is the end of video one of the new collaboration features of DNN 6-2.